All right, guys, today is the day, quite possibly one of the biggest days ever, actually the biggest day ever on the YouTube channel because we are finally leveling up to the same levels as the 765 and the fastest supercars in the world. Right now, let me roll up the window. We are on our way to a special undisclosed location in Newport Beach, California to lock in our order for this unbelievable new supercar. I'm not gonna say the name quite yet. You're gonna see it very shortly, or maybe the title says it actually, but I, I can't wait because coming from the 600 LT, getting the Z06, you may have thought that we've leveled up quite a lot, getting faster and faster track weapons. Oh, well, well this takes everything to a whole nother planet. <laughs> the Raptor R is doing such a good job taking us to this location. I can't believe what we're doing right now. Our own specking session for a brand new McLaren supercar. We all know and love all these amazing hybrids coming out like the Artur, the 296 uh, SF90s. We are getting a car that is faster than a 296. A car that's faster than an Artura. A car that's gonna set a whole new benchmark in the supercar world. And we're right in on it right away. We're the first in on it. We're gonna be getting it and we're gonna race this car so hard. Can't believe McLaren does stuff like this. A special specking session where we can configure the entire car and lock in the order. All right, here we are. We have made it to the location and now they're gonna be valeting the Ford Raptor R. I am so shocked. This is actually happening. Whoa, check out this view out here, guys. Look at that view in front of us, guys. This is insane. Whole golf course down here. And then I think the building we're going to is that way, somewhere that direction. And the specking, the specking begins. I have a few ideas right away. Before I get over there, since I'm a bit early, I do want to go over some of my ideas. I want to make this the most track capable, lightest weight version I can because that's my main use. Now, you can spec might be very glamorous and custom, and, and but the keywords bespoke, they all like to say, which is awesome. Uh, I want to try to get a lot of features like racing seats, like my Senna seats, almost if they have those options, uh, the louvers, you name it, because this this car will be going all, all the tracks everywhere, putting down lap times and taking down competitors. And <laughs> that's exactly why I'm getting it. We're getting it to go faster. And that's my goal because this is a level up like no other level up we have done before. So let's go ahead and get over there. I think our specking session starts uh, very sh shortly. Let's do this. It. We have made it to the special location where we're gonna spec the car. Joining up with Neil. How you doing, man? Good to see you, Austin. I am so excited about this day because, well, the car, it's just coming out and this opportunity, my first ever specking session, but you work with the MSO team, correct? Yeah, that's right. I'm the global sales manager for MSO, so I've been with McLaren for six years and uh, we're really excited to have you here in Newport Beach and, <laughs> and give you a really cool experience. I, I can't wait. Is this what we had in here? Is that where we're, we're locking all in? We're going in and we're going we're gonna to spec the car now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, coming from the 600 LT, man, I'm such a McLaren like a fanboy, I guess you can say. And this is the next level up, isn't it? How you guys doing? Good morning, Austin. Great Good to, to see, you, see again. you, dude. How are you? Hey, are Dan. You? Oliver, Hi there. this is so early in, in the stages of getting one of these cars, well, locking in an order, right? And mm -hmm. this is where all the magic happens, isn't it? So <laughs> the stuff you guys do all the time is just yeah. absolutely uh, amazing. I realized I forgot to say your name, Andy. Andy is, is one of the best. <laughs> oh, shoot. So is this where we uh, lock everything in or what? I guess... That's it. That's where we're going to uh, make the magic happen for, for the 750S. For the 750S. The next benchmark supercar that you guys are calling it now? Absolutely. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, before we do this real quickly, I do want to say my, my game plan, since I tend to use this thing for um, well, what McLarens are intended for, coming from the racing teams, well, yeah, Team F1, yeah. the racetrack. So I want to try to build the ultimate spec for going to the track, Laguna Seca, you name it, putting down fast laps and being as light as possible. So okay. yes, right away, Coop. 
Yep. But uh, maybe I can let you guys take it away to show me yep. what we can do. Does that sound good? That sounds oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. All righty. Come join us. Right. Take a seat next to the suggestions. Yeah. yeah. Pull out any can colors or anything like that. Drink, a water. You really thought of everything, right? Yeah. You, you treat your customers um, like VIP, yeah. right? <laughs> all customers are VIP. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best. Even thought about all the napkins, right? McLaren. That's it. I suppose right here in the middle, these are like the different color options we have in interior. Yeah, so this is the this is the MSO sample case. So we have these in uh, in all of our dealers globally, and it allows them to choose. There's 146 colors in here. Um, really? And that's only about half of our range. My preference are the MSO colors because of just how amazing that they okay. look usually and coming okay. from the papaya spark on the 600 lt yep oh nice really yeah nice. You, you know what i'm uh, talking yeah, about really. and did you bring it today i would have but then i found out you had a valet and no one's valeting <laughs> the 600 lt no I, I don't let that happen thank you for for coming to see us today austin we're really excited to show you the new 750 coupe and spider which launched simultaneously specs are you know really infinite so We'd like to talk you through a little bit about the car, and then we'll go in and talk to, to you about the themes. So you can have it rendered up behind on the big screen? Yeah, so let's start, oh, wow. let's, uh, let's, if we just start with, um, <laughs> so 750S uh, is changed in four fundamental areas. Uh, increased performance, a 740 horsepower engine, 750 PS, uh, which obviously is a, a good increase over the uh, 720. It has a 15% lower final drive ratio. Now this makes it a lot more punchy in gear. So actually the 0 to 124 time is only 0.2 of a second slower than a 765. Really? So it's a, it's a, it's a quick car. Well, that, that exhaust, I got to cut off, <laughs> cut off real quick. That but exhaust, it's, wow. It's, uh, it's very wow. sort of P1S. Yeah. And, and the other thing that's about this is it has something called ISG. Now ISG uh, is, is an inlet sound generator and that allows the through a, um, a triple valve system, it allows the, uh, a much more serenous note to the engine really? and the, and the uh, exhaust. So Yeah, you're zooming in to thank you, yeah. dude. <laughs> and it's quite sort of P1-esque as well, I think, in the, uh, in, in the look of it. It, it definitely um, is. And then are those, like, um, me the meshing looks pretty similar to a 765, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's similar. Um, the, in fact, the, and the, and the air brake above it is, uh, is, a, is a similar dimension, so it's 20% larger than, uh, wow. than the 720. <laughs> so you've got, a, you've got a really powerful air brake to slow you down, because I know you like doing your track stuff. I'm so happy to finally have the air brake, because <laughs> I love the 600 LT with the fixed spoiler, but seeing the, the wings or spoilers move behind you is just the coolest thing. And finally, yeah, I think it's definitely a, a level up then for sure. It's uh, my your Formula One with the DRS. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, it's pretty potent. And uh, we've also made improvements to the, um, to the braking systems as well. Um, suspension, uh, so new springs and dampers, a quicker steering ratio. So the whole car has moved on. And, and as, uh, you know, as we said, we're, we're, this is the new sort of definition of the benchmark for, for McLaren. Um, on the design changes, you can see quite a few changes. So you've got sort of the dihedral wing at the front, but with this smaller uh, little lip on it. Uh, we've done away with all of the um, the grey the um, the grey finish on the plastic, and you've now got this this nice gloss black. The headlamp sockets are actually are actually narrower. So you really? Can, yeah, they're narrower than uh, than the 720. Um, and you've got these new intakes. So it's, it's a lot of change on the, on the car and we'll go into some of those other changes as well. You can see the, the new side vent just behind the, uh, the door, which is, which is a, a new feature on the rear bumper um, coming into. So there's a new, completely new rear bumper with, with reprofiling and a new diffuser. Wow. So uh, it, fundamentally, you know, a lot of changes on the exterior of the car. Um, both dynamically and also from a design perspective. So I think we've, you know, we've, we've really made some good improvements. And then from a technology point of view, if we go into the inside of the car, you'll see um, completely new, what we call the iris screen, which is the center screen. So this is an eight inch high definition screen. Um, it has Apple CarPlay as a wired version. So you can plug that into the USB port and, and use Apple CarPlay. 
I think one of the nicest features, uh, well, there's several nice features, but one of the, my favourite features on this is the vehicle lift is no longer on a stalk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can now press a button. Uh, that would deploy the vehicle lift within four seconds as opposed to ten. So it's a really, really good improvement. Um, you can see the power and the handling buttons are now at fingertip control. Okay. So you're literally just touching the... Uh, so just like the Artura. Exactly like the Artura, yeah. High definition screen. And the whole console moves up and down uh, with the... Uh, okay, so it's sort of attached. Wow. It's, it's, all, it's all attached. Yeah, all this technology, man, is, is getting me super excited for this because... It's... Uh, it's going to be uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's going to be a fantastic car for us, I'm I'm, I'm sure. Um, and then if you look at the inside, obviously on the coupe, you have the option of having the, the titanium harness bar. Yeah, you know, yeah, we got to do that. I, I think which we, <laughs> yeah. we're going to be doing, which is going to be with the track. So we and I think we're going to be doing the uh, the center seats because that's the latest. Uh, the f best seats on the planet, in my opinion. I, I have not found a better track seat that can hold you in better and also uh, comfortable. And uh, believe it yeah. or not. I think I'm the only customer in the world to have stayed the night in a Senna seat. I bought my car in Ohio, <laughs> drove across the wow. country, and um, the side part where your shoulder goes, it's a good headrest. Uh -huh. You just <laughs> lean this way. Can I rest my head on the door? That's not too bad. It's comfortable. I love it. Oh, you put it on. <laughs> So then you can see also, um, if we look at the, um, the, the engine, you can see now we've got a visible engine uh, se section which has new um, ambient lighting. So it actually, really? yeah, so you've got lighting that goes around the, the engine. Was so that first introduced with the 765? Correct. It was introduced on the 765, that's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool feature. Can you still do the custom like uh, color effects on the uh, the Santa seats themselves? Like, I oh yeah, we I've can do crazy some, stuff. We can do some pretty uh, impressive stuff <laughs> on the paint, on the tint. You name it, it can be done. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it's pretty it's pretty good on that front. So what I think we'll do now is we're just going to talk you through the themes because Perfect. Uh, obviously MSO is known for its craftsmanship. And you know we've got some amazing craftsmen and women back at the factory in Woking, who create these incredible specifications. And it's nice to be able to now showcase those. I agree. Um, to uh, <laughs> to everybody that's looking at this. So we're going to start with the latest theme, which we call the Spectrum. Um, now Spectrum oh, wow. blends, believe this or not, seven colours. So this actually starts with a solid colour at the front. It then goes into a pearl, and then it goes into a full metallic, which then fades into a, a final colour. So it's a that's a new wheel option too, isn't it? That's a new wheel option. Yeah. So we've got uh, wow. this is a vortex wheel with a diamond cut finish. Um, it's a it's an ultra lightweight wheel. So if you you know if you're looking about lightweight, this is a this is a great wheel. That's the wheel, yeah. Car. Um, finished in, you can have it finished in black as well, or you can have it finished in silver. Oh gosh! So, and uh, Spectrum was done in in three sort of initial themes. So this is the blue theme, and um, we then got the, the the gray and white themes. So these are sort of going from a, a very sort of light gray into more graphitey colors, but then accentuated by the McLaren orange calipers. And then if you see around the back, oh, that that's cool. We've got the back of the air brake in, uh, uh, in in McLaren orange with the MSO logo. So uh, it's almost like you know, if you if you know it, then uh, you're you're in the you're in the know. So that is so cool. I think it's great to add into. I think it's like a world's first kind of viewing of a, a session like this with the <clears throat> new 750s. So you guys are seeing this firsthand, and. Oh, that, that one I think is my favorite one yet with the orange. So this is this is this is all of our colors of orange. We've actually got thirty oranges, believe it or not. Really? So uh, yeah, it's an incredible number of uh, of oranges. And the next theme I'm going to show you is 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 called the um, it's called the dyad. So dyad. This is really dramatic because it combines um, in this case a Tokyo cyan paint on the left with uh, a tarmac black. But we then use this, this um, hexagonal pattern, which is effectively faded through the paint. So you fade, you can see the color is, is, is gradually oh, yeah. fading. And again, this is just testament to the skill of our, of our craftsmen back in, uh, 
and woking, but it's an amazing, amazing paintwork. How much longer would you like estimate it takes to do like a, a paint job like this versus well, actually, a standard one? Actually, some of the so some of the paints that we develop, um, we develop with the idea that we want to have them so they can be fitted on the line. So effectively, MSO will build the the components to to get the customers their cars faster. Really? So, yeah. So max maximum is sort of between four and five weeks of, of what we call PBM, post-build modification. Um, and uh, it can be, you know, it can be as little as, 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 as nothing. But this, uh, the dyad is particularly complex. Um, yeah, I can tell. You're talking about <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of hours of work in this car. What is the name of that, that blue for the brakes then, right so there? It's, it's actually it's called Tokyo Scion. Oh, it's to oh, that is? That's Tokyo Scion. So we match the calipers. So this is a so if you op opt on this um, particular livery, you have the the paintwork. We do the calipers and we even do the key. So we do the key, oh, in, yeah, the the key? Same, in the same design. Wow, so that pretty, that is uh, surreal how you guys do that. It's pretty cool. So then, if you want to do something along those lines but not quite as uh, as, as expressive, then we have the geohex. Uh, the geohex you can see. So we've used the same color scheme. Tarmac Black and, and Tokyo Cyan, Tokyo Cyan calipers, but um, like a, a brushed finish to the to the hex. So you've got that over the hood, through the door, through the rear clam, and and through the air brake. It's really surreal seeing these different kind of builds because uh, I bet when other clients see this during a spec in session, it's hard to kind of pick one out of the batch. I think if, if they're interested in getting one because each of them have their own different flares, right? Uh, that's right. And, you know, Even like, especially that. <laughs> and it's, 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 you know, people, um, this is why we show these themes because it, one will then resonate with the customer uh -huh. and then they'll, you know, they get excited about it and we can, we can build an amazing spec for them. That's, you know, that's what MSO is about. It's called the art of the possible. Okay, so the next theme I'm going to show you is called the Strata. So this was introduced on the 765 LT. Um, and you can see here that there's actually multiple colors. We've got Memphis red in the center, and then you've got this, this incredible sort of jagged pattern that goes through the doors into Azores orange at the, at the back. And, that's, uh, and the pattern actually goes through the, the hood as well at the front, and the stripe goes right down to the bottom of the car. And that, again, these are just sort of starting points. You can, you can use your own color scheme, so we could, we could flip this into a blue, or you, know, you could have a you know, whatever whatever sort of theme works. It, we have to have the, the sort of right um, tones to be able to blend the colors because it can't blend with everything, obviously. But yeah. you can see where the um, so we've got sort of a you know an, a, an abyss black, which has got a bluey tint in it on this one. It goes into uh, I think a cerulean. Is that Ollie at the back? Yes, yeah. a cerulean blue, um, and then and then a slightly darker blue at the front. So. That's uh, that's Strata. The next theme is a is another new theme um, for 750s, and this is called the Stealth. So Stealth, I think, is, is oh, that one's really cool, actually. It's really cool, <laughs> yeah, because it's sort of quite expressive, but it's not expressive, if you know what I mean. Because we just use it in one particular area, and then if we just flip round to the air brake, Ollie, if we can, yeah. um, and you'll see the little, little little details like we've got this detail oh, wow. across the air brake. Which I think is quite nice because it sort of symbolises the, the you know the airflow, um, or and and then on the wing mirror itself or the door mirror scalp, you can see the the little uh, little MSO logo. You guys do the coolest mm -hmm. MSO themes and builds I, I ever see. It keeps getting better through e each one. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And you can see as we flip uh, the colours, uh, the caliper colour comes in uh, to play again. So uh, the blues and. Um, it's, it's a really, really nice, uh, really nice combination. It's a really interesting thing. We, we launched this on the Geneva Motor Show um, in 2019. And if you think about this car in the wind tunnel, this, the, so the, the pressure points uh, that hit the car uh, from, a, from an airflow perspective are symbolized in the very lightest blue, which is called cerulean blue. And we then take that into a Burton blue, which is a mid blue, and right into the abyss black. And then the whole car is in this meteorite gray. So really interesting theme, uh, very, very technical from a painting perspective, probably one of our most complex designs. 
very complex design, but also one of our most beautiful finishes, I think. Yeah, it, it is. It's, it is it's subtle, but because, in a good way. Yeah, it's amazing to watch the paint guys actually do the work on this and the skill that they have with the airbrushes. I think incredible. it kind of shows you the airflow too. Would you say and where the air is hitting the car is the is the lightest color, and then oh, okay, and then it goes darker as uh, as it flows over the body. The next theme is is one of uh, one of the first things that MSO introduced in two thousand seventeen, again at the Geneva Motor Show, and and that's called Velocity. Now Velocity is really interesting. Uh, we need to lose the blue. Yes, sorry, did not um, do that again. And, uh, <laughs> In the instance that we're going to show you with the the reds, so you've actually got um, a volcano red, which then blends into the dark and Norello red at the back, and the blend is actually through the door. But we can move that blend line. We can move it into the front fender, for instance, um, and, and and play around with it. Or you can even have three colours on on this blend. Wow. Um, so you can see here going into the front fender, this is more Norello red if the customer wanted more Norello red. Um, and, uh, and, and then we can flip that in again into a number of different colors and blues. We can go into the... Into the that, that's lant pretty nice. Lantana purples, burnt blue. Did, did you say this was already out? I think I've seen maybe a McLaren or two with yeah. the velocity. So we, so we introduced um, paint color. We, we introduced the the velocity fade on uh, 7, 720 coupe. Okay. In 2017, we then uh, did it on the on the 720 Spider, 765 LT coupe and LT Spider. It's been around, but it's a very popular combination. Um, so the, the the fades work really really well. And then the final. Um, uh, theme I'm going to show you is is the collaboration we have with uh, the Gulf Oils Company. So this is an official. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> this is an official Gulf livery. Um, so we're you know we are allowed to use uh, the developed Gulf colours and um, the blue and the orange, um, all the logos. So you can have the logos obviously on the exterior of the car, but you can also have them on the headrests. Really. Um, and it makes it a, a really you know really nice combination. So Austin, do any of those themes sort of resonate with you? Well, you I wanna... think the uh, that's pretty good for the racetrack, the, the golf, knowing golf. It is. But it would be cool if we can start like maybe building out the spec itself from scratch okay. and then at the end maybe just see what different liveries look like on top. Does that sound good? Yeah, absolutely. Ideally, uh, tracking as much as possible. So I want to make sure that the spec kind of shows off the design of what it's trying to do. And also we get the lightest spec. Cause I know there's a, a light spec you guys quoted. Um, I think it was right around up above 3000 pounds. So I think whatever we can do to chase that, okay. make a great build out of it. That's okay. the idea. So we can do ultra lightweight wheels. We yep. can do titanium bolts on it. We can put the uh, the track pack on, which is uh, a brake pack, which is a, a lot lighter. So there's a, there's a few things we can we can do. And what about um, what about colours? What are you thinking? So, on so since I do love the, the papaya spark so much on my 600 LT, I think it's a good uh, baseline because it just it looks amazing. Plus, it started out from F1, right? I think. Like well, yeah. Said 2020. So, so, so let me talk you through a little bit about the the history of of, of orange with with McLaren because. Um, We've been, we've been using McLaren Orange for, for a long time. This is the MSO sample case. So these are a, a very small selection of oranges that we, that we offer. But this is, this is McLaren Orange. So this was, uh, this was introduced in the, in the 60s on uh, Bruce's F1 cars. And then we, then we put it on our Can-Am car. Um, and it's the same color that uh, we, uh, we used on the 1974 Indy car. That's this one right here? This is this car, yeah. So this one, uh, this is a this is pretty pretty famous uh, winning color. This, <laughs> then we went to uh, Taroko Orange. So that was introduced on the 2017 Formula One car, um, and then the Papaya Spark was actually an MSO color. You see the flakes on it, right this there. This is the flake. You can see. So there's the sort of three la layers of effect coat in this, and that's taking McLaren Orange and putting effect coats on it to get this incredible papaya Okay, color. so it's the um, same baseline. Same baseline, but, okay. it, but it's um, but a lot more effect coat. And that color um, was uh, was on our, on our Formula One cars as well. So let's go with this and let's, uh, let's, let's start configuring in this color. And then we can, maybe we can add in some of the secondary colors that were on the Formula One car, like the Burton Blue and, oh, yeah. and the Vega Blue. Let's do it. And then I think this one is Volcano Orange, right? That's right. Yeah, that's uh, it's oh, a very wow. popular color. In fact, Volcano, 
Red and volcano orange is uh, still one of the most popular colors today. Even says it right. That is really cool. You have whites, grays, no, blues. Is this a green? Is this a luminaire? Oh, there's lots of colors in here, Austin. We, as I yeah. said, there's, there's 146 Jeez. colors. Um, MSO today is around, we've got about 300 colors. And you've got everything from um, things that have got sort of, you know, like the, the carbons, obviously, that we do. So tinted carbons. Um, you can see here, this is a tinted green satin carbon. Wow. So it's, it's the, the choices really are endless. And then you've got the color streams where the colors actually change. Um, so there'll be one of those in there somewhere, or a number of those. And this in is there. like the Alcantara finishes. That's you can Alcantara have. or leather. Um, almond you can, white. You can do almond white. Um, or we've got um, what we might do when we get into the interior is just just bring a bit of the papaya into the interior of the car. Uh, and I've got quite a cool idea for that. So Perfect. We'll, yeah, let's we'll, do uh, it. This is the turbine wheel. So this was first introduced on the 765 LT coupe. Strike wheel, which was introduced on the 765 LT Spider, uh, and then you have the new Vortex wheel, which is new for uh, for this. So you can do that in a silver. Obviously, you can do that in a black. So we can have it in a stealth finish, which is a matte black. I think I'd like black. And, and you said this yep. is um, the, the lightest wheel for this the car. This is uh, exact weight um, between the turbine and the uh, the Vortex is is fairly similar because they're okay. both ultra lightweight. But this is obviously a newer design. So yeah, I, it looks really good. I think you go with this one and then you can have the, the diamond cut. Obviously that uh, has a gloss black with a diamond cut finish um, and um, pure black and then the, um, the stealth finish, which is a matte finish. What do you, what I think the, the, the gloss black would, would match with the, the roof line and yeah, their black yeah, accents yeah, well. Let's do that. You said you like the orange. Um, if you're going to track this car, should we do sort of like a bit of a homage to uh, to our racing themes? That'd be perfect. That's actually okay. why I like Papaya's Park so much okay. was because of seeing it on the race team. Right, so let's let's, let's <laughs> put in some blue then to uh, to match that. So I think um, if we use a, let's use a Burton blue caliper, Ollie, please. Yeah, sure. You probably want to go for the track up, um, brake upgrade. So that uses a, a CCMR um, braking system. So that's from the Senna. And it also uses a mono, monoblock caliper. Really? So um, less movement in the caliper, better braking performance, and a lighter, uh, like a brake braking system. So it's a lighter package? Yeah. Okay, so locking that, and I see you added in the blue brakes. Oh, that's pretty wild. <laughs> and then I think we could use, um, we could use the blue somewhere else, so we maybe do a little, uh, we could do like a little pin line on the, on the door mirror scalp. Let's do pinstripe pack one, actually. So we'll do the, we'll do the, the blue um, at the bottom as well. In the Burton, we could use some Vega as well, uh, although the Vega won't uh, won't match the caliper. So let's do the Burton. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you guys are doing this in real time. Mm -hmm. I mean, like the value you're providing is just insane. I can't believe how you know how to do this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, take, it takes a it takes a lot of time. I mean, you know, these guys, uh, you know, they 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 are professional designers. They they uh, they understand the software how to runs really great too. System. Yeah, and we de we actually developed a special version of this to uh, for MSOs that we can do. Really? So now we've got the Burton Blue coming into the pin line on the bottom of the car, and you can see um, as well. We we'll now do the mirror scalp as well, so you'll just have a little uh, a little detail of the blue coming into into your theme. On the the hood, you want to do a carbon bonnet, uh, hood, carbon hood, I should say. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're in America. Yeah. In America, it's, in America, it's a hood. We call it a bonnet, but uh, yeah. So um, yeah, because front lid. It gives us a. It, we do it in body color, um, and um, you could then uh, obviously have uh, the Electroform badge. So this is really cool. Again, it's a lightness thing. It's made of a micro layer of metal, um, so you can see this little badge here. And you can do that in a dark chrome finish as well. So we can change that to a to a dark chrome. If that's a standard badge, then that's the uh, that's the electroform badge. So again, everything is 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 for a reason, and this is about lightness. Wow. So even regarding like the uh, spoiler, can the effects go to that too? Do you think? In terms of um, carbon fiber as well, and not the... um, so you can you can do it on the yeah on the on the rear air brake. Um, so we can change that to a carbon fiber. 
Um, and then what the beauty of this then is you can then introduce, obviously you can have an exposed carbon, which you could have the papaya underneath, so that when it's almost like a little signature. Oh, that's um, cool, yeah. But you can also do some, some really cool stuff. So we could bring in a little bit more of the, um, uh, uh, if you didn't want a completely carbon rear, we could color that and then bring a little bit of detail into the center of the wing so that you would effectively have a different looking profile to the wing. So this has now got the little MSO touch. That's so, pretty cool. So you've, got the, <laughs> you've got the exposed carbon coming through, but it, it gives the, the wing a sort of a different profile. It's the quite really P1-esque. Really this so that's the uh, stealth finish on it? That's a stealth finish, yeah. Wow, yeah, I love that exhaust system in the blue underneath the spoiler. <laughs> this is pretty wild. <laughs> I think, the, I, think the, I think the spec's coming along quite nicely, Austin, but what I'd like to do is introduce the, the fender lures, which we uh, introduced on the 765. So these are in body color, but what we've done is we've um, put a tiny, tiny element of the blue, or you can have them in the satin carbon. Personally, I think they look awesome in the satin carbon. I think they, yeah. that, really, that really pops on the front. And then if we just, well, if we just go around to a sort of a, a more three quarter view, then we can, uh, you can see those. And these are lighter than the standard fenders too? Uh, yeah. They, Is there carbon? They, they're carbon, uh, they're carbon fender lures, so. Wow. That is wild how the blue is just coming together with, with all the, yeah. the dark satin accents. I think you made a good point because looking at the colors again and like coming to Papaya Spark, looking at like, for example, satin with it, because I have on my 600, um, actually I don't have any exterior exposed carbon, so I've never really seen this view, but seeing um, Papaya with the satin, very race car. I think it is. I think, and if we're sort of doing a little bit of a, you know, a, a rendition of an MCL 35 or something, then the, the, that will have satin carbon, so it, it, it ties in with the thing really nicely. All right, so we've got the interior look now. Yeah, so there's a couple of things uh, we can start with uh, Austin. So this is the comfort seat, which is a fully electric seat. We've then got the sports seat, uh, which is a fixed seat with a, uh, an optional carbon back. And then we've got the ultra lightweight seat, which we've introduced on the You're side. definitely Santa seats, yeah, okay. that's what I call them. We're going, we're going to Santa seats then. <laughs> yeah, for, okay. for sure. So I think what would be quite nice here is we could bring in some of the exterior color into the interior. So we could bring in a papaya pin line around the edge of the seat shelf. That was fast. I'm not sure what magic you guys just whizzed <laughs> up right there in one click. Like you almost knew what he was gonna say, it seemed like. <laughs> but, uh, and, then, and then I think if you were doing this thing, you'd probably just do a little bit of a contrast stitch around the Alcantara, um, again in the, in the orange. Um, which I think would, would give it a little bit of emphasis. The, the headrests you can have uh, with the, the McLaren Speed mark, you can have with the car's name, obviously 750. I um, think I'm kind of leaning towards 750 okay. because yeah. just to show we off. Put a, we can put a 750 logo on, the, on those seats. Um, oh yeah, because we got P Oh, P28 code <laughs> names yes. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Top secret. Live with that. Whatever. Use those codes. I think I don't you know. should choose another uh, another headrest for, <laughs> yeah. for the, uh, the heat no, of the no so, Yeah, you, know. you can do you can leave it on on either one for, for now. So we leave it. And then can we do like the full Alcantara interior too? It's it's already Alcantara the seats, right? Mm -hmm. How yeah. about like the steering wheel, yep, the dashboard? Can change everything to Alcantara. Yeah. So um, all of the. Uh, you know all the doors, um, and you can you can do the steering wheel. Obviously, we'll bring that to Alcantara. Um, we've got the so the twelve o'clock um, marker. Uh, what I would suggest here is that we bring in a an upper steering wheel um, in carbon um, and the steering wheel clasp, and then we can put on a, a twelve o'clock marker. So we'd use the papaya. We could also use the papaya and the, the burnt blue. 
So you've got almost like a tri-band on the, on the steering wheel. I think I've seen some pretty cool builds uh, of you guys working with like different interior colors like this and even steering wheel stripes um, in the past with different like, I think Santa's too. And oh, you got already the extended paddle shifters uh, because the standard ones are a bit too, too small for me. Yeah, yeah <laughs> for sure. I agree. Uh, you know, if you're going to use this car on track, you definitely want the extended paddles. And then we could also do the very edge of the paddles in uh, in the papaya spark as well so just bringing consistency into into the theme we'll just show you what uh, what that looks like in a minute we just turn around the that's pretty wild so you can see it on the you edge see on the edge there you see. wow that that's pretty wild that's seeing pretty it in person wild. so how thick are those paddles in for you to see the just the render making it look thicker do you think or are they pretty thick that you can see the line the orange. What about, uh, what do you think, Dan? How? A few more. I mean, it's a balance because you want it to feel yeah. strong and stable as you're changing gear. Because um, if they were too thin, then they wouldn't feel, you know, solid enough <laughs> when you're driving, and especially if you're going to do track driving. Um, so highlighting them, it's it's a detail that you'll see as you walk up to the car, which is like a really nice touch. That's pretty cool. Ta and then tactile confidence. Exactly. Ta <laughs> Got the carbon door good, sills too. Good phrase. <laughs> yeah, so, so what? You can put the extended um, MSO sill on, uh, which is a full length carbon sill, and that uh, that sort of gives you, a, I think, a much more of a sort of a race car feel. And then you can see the MSO logo that. That's uh, pretty wild. That we've put in uh, in sort of a, a few different hues of orange. Can you zoom out too, just to see like the profile of the doors up with the orange? That looks so custom. Again, the work you guys do is just insane. This is a sort of a great um, palette for us, if you like, because because of the sill size, we you know we can put just about anything on there. We've we've done a lot of um, sort of commemorative editions uh, where we've we've put uh, race dates on there. Um, obviously, this year is our is our triple crown um, celebration. So we uh, you know we're a manufacturer who has won the the triple crown. Which is the Indy 500, uh, Monaco Grand Prix, and, and Le Mans, um, and of course our, our famous Speedy Kiwi, which I think should be more. Um, I don't know. My sort of OCD is saying that should be down. <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> um, but oh, yeah again, we can and we could do that in the in the papaya as well. And I guess too, doing satin exterior carbon, the the satin interior one would, would match pretty well. Yeah. It's yeah. standard in satin, right? It's standard in yeah. satin. We can do it in gloss and we can tint the carbon as well. So um, I think the satin for wood would the, um, match pretty nice. well. I think um, you know, the, the McLaren Special Operations logo. Do you want any more orange in the inserts or do you think that's... I, th I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Unless, again, you guys are the master craftsmen. Oh, we can, so you guys we know. Can, we can recommend lots of things. <laughs> <We> can, <laughs> yeah. uh, um, but then you might think, you know, from a balance point of view, you probably don't want too much of the orange coming in. We could, um, we but could, um, you could have a pin line, so as it's shown here, so we've got a little pin line on there. I was going to say, we've got so much orange on the outside. Mm -hmm. Could we just add the contrast stitch to the fascia and the doors, yes, course, just yeah. so we've got some accents in there? Um, I think because we, we have got such a bold colour exterior and we've already got some of the paint in there, unless you want to go really, really orange. Yeah, no, I think you might be on <laughs> something. Um, appreciate your your input, Andy. <laughs> and you're a master at all this stuff. So, oh, thank you. he knows. He, that was I'll, a good I'll one. Take, I'll take <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! So this is your finished spec, Austin. So we've got a papaya spark um, MSO color, but we've then accented that with a pin pinstripe pack in Burton blue. We've got this really cool carbon satin carbon uh, line going through your carbon bonnet. Uh, all of the all of the other things like the mirror scalps are in carbon, and then if we just wow. spin the car round, you can see the blue fend, the fender lures, little blue accents on the um, on the fender lures, and then we've got our little little um, badge, the MSO badge on the satin carbon mirror scalps. The wheels, the vortex wheels, the lightest wheel is uh, is in is in gloss black, but with Burton blue calipers again tying into the theme, and then if we move around the towards the rear of the car, you can see we've got the carbon air brake because we've got exposed satin carbon on the, on the bottom of it. Um, but we've also got the dark chrome for the stealth exhaust and the badge. And then the, the rear diffuser, again in satin carbon with the Burton blue on the vertical and the horizontal strokes. So really, really cool spec. And wow. then on the top of the air brake, if we just pan out to the Overside, we can just see 
this little detail. So this is the MSO. All, this is the MSO. This is all satin carbon. Um, you've got your rear outlets in, in satin carbon as well. That blends really well in with, with the dark colors all around above the engine bay. Looks really, really nice. And then if we dive into the interior of the car, um, again, we've gone, we've gone super light. So we've got the ultra lightweight seat, uh, which has a, a Papaya Spark pin line painted by the MSO Craftsman uh, around the outside of the seat shell. You've got your six point harnesses. You've got your titanium harness bar. And then so what is titanium? It is titanium. Yeah, well. yeah it is titanium. <laughs> And then you've got this very subtle um, McLaren orange contrast stitch running through the doors, through the IP, which is the top of the dashboard. Um, and then you can see this beautiful detail on the steering wheel. So the edge of the paddles is, is done in, in orange. And then we've got the 12 o'clock marker here, again in your, in your Papaya Spark. Wow. So it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty cool uh, spec, Austin. Then we have the door sills too, Ryan, and exposed satin ex carbon, ex 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 extended carbon sills. Um, yeah, which have also got the, the the MSO, the McLaren Special Operations logo in the matching. That's part. a really wild shot right there, showing off all the carbon fiber. This is to see. So I, I think you're right about this combination we did with like the outer stripe because coming from my Santa seats, there's no orange in the seat and there's just pure orange seat belts. Yep. This now is like a good flip. Yeah, of, I think it's a great uh, combination. You know, it accentuates the seats. It, it makes it, you know, gives you that feeling of, of, of lightweight as well because you can see the seat shell um, and uh, this is going to be a real trap weapon. Hey, that, that's the game plan. Take down uh, the competition, right? The new Absolutely. benchmark right here. Can yeah. you do one last shot of, I saw earlier, you had like uh, what the seats look like from, from the outside, like oh, on yeah, the front sure. end. Like zooming in. See, so, yeah, now the orange blends in perfectly, right? From the outside, when you walk up to it, that, that looks so custom. <laughs> this is uh -huh. insane. But I think um, the next step is just to wait for production time, right? And then from yep, there... No, you've just got to uh, obviously uh, speak to uh, Mr. Andy. Where did Andy go? <laughs> He's smiling. We've got it for you, Austin, don't worry. We'll, we'll go to the track together with it. <laughs> Sound good? Sounds like a deal to me. Are you going to teach him how to drive? <laughs> we got All that too on video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome, Austin. You... And, uh, thanks for coming down, and uh, hopefully this is going to be an amazing car for, uh, for you to drive. Yeah, I get some shots of it ASAP when it gets into production or and gets built. And uh, you guys are just super creative. A lot of talent in this room. Thank you again, Andy, for all Austin. your help. Absolutely, my pleasure. Really appreciate it. And then to the two masters <laughs> behind the camera. No, thanks thank you, so Oliver. Much. Thank you. And thank you. And hopefully Pleasure. I see you guys out there and working. I hope so, yeah. Um, yeah, cause absolutely. Because I always wanted to go out there, <laughs> and I think it's going to be just surreal and live up to all the expectations. We'll look forward to having you. Yeah. Great work, and the tra track weapon, guys, <laughs> is going to be built. I think it's a good step up from the 600 LT, and we're going to find out what kind of lap times we can put down in Laguna Seca and all the amazing race tracks out here on the West Coast and across uh, America. All right, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of our spec for this brand new car. The next adventure is beginning. The level up for the racetrack with a new racetrack weapon. I, I cannot wait, especially for when production finally kicks off. But world's first order for the new car. I can't say out loud right now, but hey, it is happening and I can't wait. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next video. We have a crazy journey ahead of us.